This is really interesting. The man <laughs> who filled Jeff Sessions' seat in the U.S. Senate, Luther Strange, is a sitting U.S. Senator. He was beat by a one Roy Moore, 39 to 33 percent. And you may have heard that name before. Moore is a former Alabama Chief Justice. He's been removed from the state's highest court twice for ethics violations, and he's now the favorite to win the Republican nomination. So why do we care here in the Bay Area? Well, Senator Strange is now the underdog, and guess what? He's backed in a big way by President Trump. He's already gotten three million bucks in super PAC money for that election. The runoff will happen on September 26th. They will face, the winner will face Doug Jones in December. I believe it's on December 12th, meaning that Alabama, a very, very red state, could be in play for the Democrats for the very first time in almost 25 years, meaning Alabama could be for President Trump what Massachusetts was for President Obama back in 2009 when an obscure state senator named Scott Brown, thumbs up, came out of nowhere and won Ted Kennedy's seat in a special election after his death, upsetting the balance of power in the Senate and giving the Republicans a seat that had been in Democratic control since 1952. This is going to be very interesting. Something else that's interesting, some more bad news for the president this morning. In a new Maris poll, the president's approval ratings have dropped yet again. 35% approve of the job the president is doing right now. 62% believe his decisions have made America look weak on the world stage, and 60% do not believe he is trustworthy. And guess what? 75% say he is temperamental, which I didn't realize was part of their surveys, but temperamental is a, is a part of it now. They ask a lot of different things, mm -hmm. and there's been so much criticism about the president, yes. especially after what happened this week. So this poll was taken between August 8th and last Saturday. Okay. That's the day when everything happened in Charlottesville. So it really doesn't take into account sort of what's happened over the last five or six days. So it'd be interesting to see if his numbers are even lower in the next poll.